Today I'll show you how to create this no makeup makeup look with a soft flush. It's a clean natural beauty look that I often get asked to do. First I'm going to start off with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's oil free, has SPF 15, is also vegan, and it smooths pores and lines and makes your makeup water resistant. I'll start applying it from the center of my face with a brush to get a nice even application, especially where my pores are a little bit larger and where I have more texture. A little bit goes a long way as it makes your skin feel silky smooth. Then I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Power Play Foundation. It protects your skin from environmental factors, is also water resistant, gives a medium to full coverage, is talc free, and also vegan. I'm going to apply with my Sephora Pro number 47 brush. I really like it for an airbrush finish, but it also gives a nice precise application as well. I like that it's beveled on one side and flat on the other. The beveled side is really great for blending out any cream to liquid products. And as you can see, I'm starting from the center of my face where I have a little bit more redness and blending it out. I like to use a stippling motion because it helps to build up coverage along with blending it out at the same time. And since my skin is on the more sensitive side, I don't tend to like to buff my foundation in since it creates a little bit of micro exfoliation, lifting up more dead skin cells during this very dry winter time. Then I'm going to go in with G60 Plus, which is my summer color, and I'm going to place that on my forehead where I'm typically darker anyway because of the sun, and then also on my cheekbones and my jawline where I'm just a little bit darker on the outer premises of my face. I do typically recommend having two foundation shades, one for your winter shade and one for your summer shade. That way you can mix the two for those in-between seasons. Next, I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It reduces redness, protects the skin from water loss, brightens, and hydrates. I typically like to use this for my under eye area. I'm going to swipe it right where I have a little bit of a pocket of dark blue right under there. This peachy tone helps to neutralize any of the purpley blue shades. I typically get a little bit darker when I lack sleep. Formula is also slightly luminous, so it does really help brighten up the under eye area. Then I'm going to take a rounded concealer brush and use a stippling motion and press that concealer in to blend. This way I'm not disturbing the layer of foundation that I have underneath and it helps just build coverage. Remember, stippling helps to build coverage and it also helps with blending at the same time. Now I'm going to go in with these awesome Fenty Beauty matchsticks. This comes in a trio and they're also sold separately as well. I love the magnetic packaging and the hexagonal shaving because it really sticks together and it's easy to find in my kit. It's creamy, has a semi-matte texture, it's buildable, vegan, and gluten-free. I'm going to start off with the color Mocha here and using a dabbing motion on my skin, I'm going to contour the outer premises of my face, typically where the sun hits, but also where I naturally have shadows. So I'm using a dot motion that way I'm not applying too much product so like I said before it's buildable and for this color I'm gonna keep it as close to my hairline as possible still using that number 47 pro brush to blend it back into my hairline and that beveled side really fits nicely along my cheekbone and it pushes the color upward creating a nice lift Now 
now I'm gonna go in with Bamboo. This color is slightly lighter than my foundation shade and I'm gonna create a little bit more of a matte highlight just right along the bridge of my nose, right under my eyes as well, just to bring those areas forward. And blending it in, I'm just using a dabbing and swiping motion. And now for a little bit of blush. We're gonna go in with the Fenty Matchstick in Trippin'. This is a really beautiful coral tone with a slight shimmer to it. Place it starting from the apple of my cheek and I'm just gonna dot it going back towards my ear. And using that same brush, I really love this brush as you can see. I'm gonna blend it back towards my ear using a stippling motion once again. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. It's long wearing, it blurs texture, which I have a lot of. It's talc free and it's vegan. I'm gonna start by placing this underneath my eyes where I have that creamy concealer. That way it'll set nicely and also blur out a little bit of the fine lines I have under there. Whatever I have left on the brush, I'm just gonna blend it down onto my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take it up into my T-zone where I'm most oily. Though this powder helps to set makeup, I wouldn't say it's a matte texture per se. It gives more of a skin-like satin finish. And now I'm gonna go in with the NARS Powder Blush in Ghoulie. I find that depending on the lighting on set, sometimes I have to add a little bit more blush. And since I'm filming this during sunset, it's gonna wash out a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blush on my cheeks. Again, starting from the apples and blending it back. Then I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit with this Honest Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. It's got a buildable texture, it blends really nicely, and it also has jojoba seed oil, which conditions my brows. Just brushing the brow hairs upwards first, and then I'm gonna start filling in the arch space, going with the growth of the hair. And then using the pencil, I'm gonna use a feathering motion going upwards with the growth of the hair in the inner corner of my brows. Then I'm gonna go back and brush it upwards very gently just to blend it out. I'm gonna move on to eyes, starting off with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It enhances the eyeshadow color, improves the long wear, and reduces any smudging that can happen along the way. I like to use a brush to get a really nice even application, but you can absolutely use your fingertips if you'd like. For my base color, I'm gonna use the MAC Eyeshadow in Vanilla. I'm gonna place it on my brow bone and my lid. So depending on your skin tone, this might be the right shade for you. You may have to adjust and use a slightly darker or lighter shade depending on how deep your skin tone is. When choosing a lid space and brow bone color, I like to go slightly lighter than the foundation shade. This way it creates a little bit of a highlight with the brow bone and also a little bit of a highlight on the lid, all the while still looking natural. Now I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush into my Inglot 337 eyeshadow. It's a matte medium brown placed in the crease of the eye along with the outer corner. I'm creating a little bit of dimension here so that way my eyes appear a little bit wider. And because my eyelids are slightly hooded, I'm gonna place the color slightly higher than my actual crease. Then I'm gonna go in with my Shu Amora Eyelash Curler. This is great for my flatter lid shape. It really helps to open up my eyes by curling my lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with the MAC Extended Play Permeate Blush. It's curling, defining, and washes off with warm water. This is an amazing mascara for me because my problem is I always have trouble with mascaras decurling my lashes as soon as I put it on. And this one actually keeps them curled without having to be waterproof. And this part is optional. I like a little bit more volume, so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and layer that on top. Now for the lips, I'm gonna go in with my Merle Norman Plush Lipstick in Power Play. I love this magnetic packaging. I feel like it's so luxurious. And this color is beautiful. It has a nice soft matte finish. For a no makeup makeup look, I typically don't want the lips to look too shiny. And this is a nice balance of something not too shiny, but still hydrated. And that's it. Please let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button and join me on my other social media handles. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.